What do Kendrick Lamar and Kodak Black have in common? Wait, this sounds like a trick question, I know, but it's not. Yes, Kendrick Lamar is considered by some as one of the greatest rappers of our generation, with his intricate wordplay, complex metaphor, and attention to cultural activism. Now, Kodak may not get the same kind of love, but they're both influenced by the Hebrew Israelites. I'm an Israelite, don't call me black no more. That word is only a color, it ain't facts no more. I don't wear crosses no more, y'all sure was coming back. I ain't scared of losses no more, I see life in that. Hey, hey, I'm an Israelite, my diamonds Israelites. You're probably wondering, what? Black Israelites? Yeah, but it's not what you think. In a deeply reported article on Genius by writer Sam Kestebaum, we see how small spiritual movement is influencing the bars of some of your favorite artists. They're called the Hebrew Israelites. They're primarily made up by people of color who believe that they are the true descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel. They emerged after the Reconstruction era as Jim Crow laws curtailed civil rights in the war ravaged South and racial violence swept across the country. At that time, the group believed that their enslavement was punishment for disobeying God. Kestenbaum writes, quote, Hebrew Israelites point to the chapter of Deuteronomy 28, in particular a passage that describes how the biblical Israelites will be sent back in ships to Egypt for their disobedience to God, as a prophetic foretelling of the enslavement of African people in the Americas. But wait, 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 did that Bible chapter ring any bells? Well, if you paid any attention to Kendrick Lamar's Damn, the song Fear should have come to mind. In a voicemail that opens the song, Kendrick's cousin Carl Duckworth, known in the Hebrew Israelite community as Carney Ben Israel, is heard discussing that same chapter. Deuteronomy 28 and 28 says, The Lord shall smack thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. Kendrick was supposedly blown away by this verse during study sessions with his cousin Duckworth. However, Lamar is not a member of the group. Meanwhile, Kodak Black met an Israelite teacher during his last stint in prison. After his release, Black seemingly declared his membership in the organization in an Instagram post donning the Jewish star of David. Feeling like I'm kuta kente, cause we going through slavery still. I can't lie, I'm hashtag Israel, hashtag 12 tribes of Israel. Black and Lamar aren't the first rappers to be down with the Israelites. In 1998, Killer Priest shouted them out on his song One Step. Early natives related to the throne of David, captured by some patriots and thrown on slave ships. And a Hebrew Israelite joined Dougie Fresh in his 1988 music video, Keep Rising to the Top. Send it out his hand to me and ask me, would I rock the microphone? I just gave him a pound and I said shalom. Some in the Hebrew Israelite community are a little iffy towards all this famous attention. Instead, they prefer folks listen to rappers that are actually part of the community. Just got the pack through the mail. Got me building up my clientele. Neighbors trying to see what he sell. But the gospel is what I tell. Black queens in the projects. Black kings in the prison. That was still in the slave trade. Just switched up the system. Get back to commandments. Only way we gon' get home. These rappers is lying. Our leaders is weak, man. It ain't no question. Who got the answers, though? We the Israelites, we got the answers though. And remember Chingy? I like the way you do that right there. 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 Right That is all changed. He's down with the Israelites too. And in 2013, he made it known with King Judah. You in the kitchen cooking up, Yo. trying to bake a pie. Yo. I'm reading about my past deception, Yo. trying to cremate a lie. Yeah. Guess I should talk about yeah. bottles, girls, the hood, and guns. Yeah. I've gotten sicker that you son of sin, I'm God's son. So why now? Well, it could be because of the bleakness of our present time. Police brutality, an unstable political system, and global warming are pushing many to seek solace in alternative movements. The Israelites are apolitical and don't believe activism will solve their problems. The only way, they believe, is to follow God and return to their Hebrew heritage. And this is all something that Kendrick Lamar has been keenly aware of. I feel like it ain't no tomorrow, fuck the world, the world is ending, I'm done pretending, and fuck you if you get offended. I'm Jacques Morel with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. Shalom.